X-ray. Oh man, this does not feel like it's on, but I'll trust the process. Let's make sure it's not muted. Okay, let's go with it. Hello everyone. Welcome to Bane at X-ray. I'm your host, Captain Bane. Look at this. Look at this crooked ass background. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you could do everything possible, but you know what? <laughs> nah, I gotta, I gotta fix that. That's gonna bug me the whole episode. Oh man, this one's tricky. You gotta kind of go like that. All right, here we go. Okay. So today we're gonna talk about Fort Sill. Uh, right after the process of uh, commissioning. This was 2009. Wow, 11 years ago. I even sound old in my older age experience in the Army, huh? Um, so, I am not going to try to talk as much. <laughs> I'm already going to talk shit about Fort Sill, I know it. I'm actually going to try to make this a positive experience. I even went back and uh, looked my Facebook timeline. Uh, a quicker way to do that is on your laptop, by the way. And uh, I saw there was no pictures. There wasn't there wasn't a lot of um, camera work going on back then. But it said like one said St. Louis, and then another said Fort Sill, and then <laughs> another said I'm in hell. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try to not talk a lot of smack because. Uh, it was actually, I got something out of it. Um, I actually may talk this entire episode, so excuse me, but let me just let me move the character around. So, yeah, Oklahoma. This is it, man. <laughs> I'm in Oklahoma right now, and that's actually where my mom grew up, so. I thought you were going with Dutch. Uh, we got this covered, Arthur. Go with Dutch. Oh, okay, I gotta go with Dutch. Um, so I know a little bit about Oklahoma and the landscape. No, and even throughout my uh, history experience, um, studies, you know, adventures and travels, you know, o Oklahoma's got some good landscape um, history, uh, the early explorers going through there, but god dang, is it windy, man? There's got to be some, like, plastic bag graveyard somewhere in that state because, <coughs> I mean, isn't... If I'm not mistaken, isn't the state motto like Westward Ho or something? Like, keep going? I don't know. So, I tried. I really did. Um, but, yeah, man, that was just like, the. I think it was just the duty station itself. I'm pretty sure that place has caused divorces. Uh, I can almost guarantee it has. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't have that in my notes. I just had hell. Um, I just actually wanted to talk about, uh, I went to church the other day, and, uh, man, I really like this guy, Pastor Dave, he talked about, uh, I'm going to switch gears a little bit to the purpose of this channel and Bayonet X-Ray, and, um, you know, he talked about these internal bullies we have, and with PTSD, you know, we have these implicit memories that get triggered, the adrenaline and the cortisol start dripping, and you're like, ugh, why am I so mad? And it was the same thing. He was talking about the same thing. People with uh, everyday people, man, we just start thinking and thinking, and we get these internal bullies in our head, and it's like, man, no, dude, it's it's, it's not you, okay? Um, so just kind of wanted to switch gears uh, real quick. Okay, now back. <laughs> I went to church, now back to hell. Um so uh so you get to Fort Sill, you're in you're you're a cherry lieutenant, you get there and they're they in process you and uh hold on, I'm gonna get my morning cup of coffee guys because you know the purpose of this show is that <sighs> that continuity, but there's you know, there's a continuity in your first sip of coffee.
so you get there um, and you know you're you're a new lieutenant so you're and for me I mean I'm nervous I have no prior experience I still don't know what some of the acronyms mean like I literally had just learned what PCS was coming out of um, my last duty station like TDY and PCS no idea T TDY is temporary duty honor that means you go somewhere and you come back um, and then PCS is permanent change of station. That means you're leaving. Uh, so, you know, still, still very, f very new to the process. But um, so we get there, and <laughs> I'm gonna call this guy out right now. I don't know who you are, but we were actually being pretty good lieutenants, man. We were just kind of sitting there, like filling out all our paperwork. There was some guy talking, like, "Hey, make sure he's blah blah blah." This guy comes out and he goes, I'm a level four combative instructor. Everybody shut the fuck up. Uh, if you want to, if you want to have words, we can go outside and fight. And was, we were all just kind of looking around like, what is this guy talking about? We were not even, I mean, I, I honest to God, we're not even talking. <laughs> so I want to fight you, whoever you are. You worked at Fort Sill. In 2009, you were skinny, you were older, you had a mustache. Let's fight. I want to fight you right now. <laughs> I want to... Uh, let's roll. Let's roll. Com combatives. Not like, you know, peace, buddy. Peace. But let's roll. I want to roll with you. Level 4? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And I had an older brother my whole life, so I'm pretty sure I could beat you. Alright. Uh, so, here we are. Uh, I'm going to approach my horse. Um... So that was that. Uh, and so, so you get there. Um, you're a lieutenant. You're, you're learning, still you're learning kind of the ropes of being a, a, an officer. But here's this guy. He wants to fight you. And then there's also this no salute zone in there. <laughs> I'm like, what? what the heck? There's no saluting? And he's like, these people want to fight us? What the? You know, so this is like the first experience with Fort Sill. It's not, I'm not even in... So Fort Sill, I still believe, is the home of the artillery, uh, artillery school. Um, it's actually the perfect place for it. It's a big plateau. There's some hills here and there, uh, but for the most part, it's it's pretty flat and it's uh, it's it's good for that kind of stuff. And I actually have a good land nav story that I'll get into here in a second. Uh, but you know, so that's it. <laughs> this is actually kind of this this gets better. So. All right, here's my land nav story. Um, can I just can I just go? I I don't want to. Okay, all right. Mm. Um, Come on, let's go. So we do land nav. Uh, let's just. And then, so when you do land nav in the army the day before, you uh, you do a practice, uh, or like maybe two days before you do this practice round uh, to get a lay of the land a little bit. Uh, you do it at a, at another offsite center, but it's still um, it's good to go. So I love land nav. I absolutely ate it up. Um, the the day before, I got all five of my points. I was. Um, hot shit that day like even the instructors are like damn sir uh so then we get to the next day and uh during these events of the army like big runs or something i tend to get uh bubbly bubbly guts so uh, i had to go number two this entire land nav course um in all of fort sill uh, you can't really pull off to the side because there's no trees. It's completely completely open area. Uh, so I had to do the the entire la next day land nav full of shit. So uh, there's that story. Uh, land nav. Okay. And then the dreaded ruck march. Um, yeah, let's talk about the ruck march. So here we go. We're marching. Uh, and I just, I hate it. That This is... A, there's no real story here other than um, I actually did learn that if you take Jolly Ranchers with you, it helps your sugar. So uh, that's a good thing on hikes. Um, it's actually a really good camping food, too, is Jolly Ranchers. Hard candy, suck on. Uh, it's kind of a mental thing, too. Uh, let's get some more coffee in us, guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm not doing my whole... <laughs> I got 
three kids sleeping. This is kind of a stealth mission, too, so... Fun fact, this guy right here, the Red Dead Redemption guy, uh, is based off of a character in Hell on Wheels. The main character. Ah, nothing like that first cup. Cup of Joe. Um... So yeah, rock marching. I mean, look here. Here's me when I rock march. I'm like, I'm like, I, I take my head down and I think I'm going for like f four hours, and then I look up, and like the destination is that huge mountain over there off in the distance. And they're like, all right, only 15 more miles left. That's just I'm not a big rock march guy. Um, and I wanted to go infantry too, but armor was the, obviously the best option. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, let's see if we can switch. I think you're going the wrong way. Uh, no, maybe we'll do the mission just to kill some time. Dutch. You Dutch? <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, are you Dutch? Oh, are we bird watching? <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let's go. Let's do some more talking here. So, here we are. I don't think this is the right way. Uh, so, we're cherry lieutenants. We don't get saluted. They yell at us. <laughs> uh, we learned that the arms room, at least for me, the arms room is a hot mess. Um, and uh, you learn a little bit about Oklahoma. I was going to bring my, my Bear Grylls pants. I still have some some uh, clothing from that era, uh, my Bear Grylls pants. Um, but, you know, since my mom was from that era, my mom, my mom was from that era, area, um, I decided to do some exploring. Uh, I actually would go up to Oklahoma City and play pickup hockey of all places. And um, there's a huge, uh, there's also a big Texas influence within that air area as well. Um, and there was like the Texas Tornado was playing, but it's very, very random. Uh, very, very random. Yeah, um, random hockey, not, not Oklahoma. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash it. It's uh, just to recap here, I was researching it, and one of my Facebook posts was, I'm in hell, so, um, hold on, let me, let me talk to you about, so here we are, we're at this FTX, field training exercise, we're shooting live rounds, downrange, we actually have ba our battle buddy shooting behind us, um, so that was actually a really good experience on control, and, uh, you know, hey, full contact sport, steel going downrange, if that's your buddy, trust him. So, uh, General Dempsey came to our camp, uh, his black, two Blackhawks landed, his entourage got out, oh god, I can, I just remember that dog and pony show, uh, and he talks to our troop, and he gets out, and I was actually headed to Germany, and he goes, to George Pret, what do you think of Bullock 2, and I go, something along the lines of, um, uh, oh, uh, Got a visitor here. 22 minutes of online. Just gaming. Describing the experience of becoming, going to civilian to soldier. Right now I'm explaining how I met General Dempsey. And he asked about Bullock 2. Uh, what kind of purpose does it serve? And we all knew it was, it was a school that just, it needed to beef up a little bit. But we didn't really know how to say. So I said, we could fire... We need to be fired more steel down range. We're in war. We shouldn't be reading our tax op for three, four hours. So uh, the next round or two, the next cycle of schooling, Bullock 2 is no more. So I like to say I got rid of Bullock 2 a little bit. Um, but it was it was a good idea, but it was just destined to, uh, I think it was just destined to fail. And I don't think anyone's heart was really in it. We're, we're a country at war. I think we all just 
we wanted to go go over there and <coughs> deploy you know I think that social networking part maybe I don't know could have been hidden and hidden in some of the other schooling uh, but Oklahoma so um, I want to say it's Mount Hood uh, I just went up and climbed that one day uh, that's stupid but um, very fun a very adventurous thing to do uh, and then the one spectacular thing about Oklahoma is definitely the some of the landscape out there the uh, you start to get into the Old West and um, it is uh, I, I like it uh, I'm not gonna say I'd move out there but you know I, I can't remember the name of the range but uh, Harmon you would know uh, this guy, he ran 16 miles. I only ran 10. It was actually the longest I've ever run and the best I've ever felt running this huge, huge gauntlet with buffaloes and ibex and I don't know. They were in old mines, uh, but it was it was uh, fun. It was fun. I'll just say that. So uh, Mount Hood, climbing, climbing, climbing the hood, <laughs> up on the range. Pick up hockey, the rock march, no salute zone. Uh, man, yeah, it was windy. Buffalo is cold. Uh, Dempsey, nice. I still. <laughs> oh, man, that would be funny if that Fernandez guy who chimed in was uh, <laughs> the cadre who wanted to fight. He wanted to fight all of us. I couldn't believe it. Why? Okay, um, okay, we'll talk about this, <clears throat> and then we'll see if I can just switch games. Can I just switch games here? Am I going to lose you? Okay. Uh, I may have cut out there, but I think I'm back on. Okay, I won't do that again. I was going to try to switch games to No Man's Sky. It's a game. Space exploration game would be another kind of funny... Uh, analogy to Oklahoma <laughs> um, so one cool thing actually a lot of cool things about Fort Sill like I said I'm not gonna try to bash it uh, was a crawfish boil uh, this guy put on invited everyone to <coughs> Um, it was at a recreation area. We all It was. It was a networking event. This was the cool part about it. And I'm sure there was drinks to be had and, and all kinds of other fun, uh, cool stuff that you just hang out and you, you know, play catch. And people brought their kids. It was, it was actually a pretty good time. But I, I learned that uh, it's salty because of the, um, the swamp. It's so hot that the, you need the salt to, to stay hydrated uh, for to keep hydrated actually so learned a little bit about the crawfish boil um, except I don't like crawfish after that because it's too much trouble for that little piece of meat um, wow that's a first world problem <laughs> I bet you if I was out in the woods <laughs> if I was stranded out in the wild yeah you'd be loving crawfish and then um, so you know we're describing we're, let's let's we'll start playing too let's start playing Um, you know, the the day of, after you're done with the school, uh, bullet two, um, <coughs> again, for me, leaving Oklahoma on my way to Fort Knox, that was another, another freedom, uh, that's, uh, hard to explain, uh, you, I took advantage of it, man, but I, I sped, I sped up to Fort Knox, um, just because you want to get to your next duty station, you're 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 curious at this point. <laughs> you're you're a cat, and you're very curious. Um, but uh, for me, I was I was careful. I was a little older, so I wasn't drinking and driving, and you know, for lack of a better term, whoring out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, here I am. We're gonna play a little bit of this game. Uh, we're at, we're at Twent, Twomp. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a good analogy. So when you head, I think I, I had mentioned this two episodes ago. Uh, when I got to Fort Knox, uh, it it was kind of creepy, uh, a little bit. Was that the gold, the gold nugget in or something? But I had to go check in, and again, there was like this secret cage. You know, you had this guy popped a little door open. This is old school, a little bit old school Fort Knox. So there's some World War II buildings still in use, uh, some Cold War type uh, stuff. Maybe so. I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there um, first. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, follow me. Let's head for that building. Oh, we said top. follow me. That's right. I'm still learning that. That's a great term. Get it? It's infantry, but man. That's, uh... You know... Another thing I learned later on in the army is, you know, you got to know when to lead and know when to follow. Um, that's important because I saw a lot of leaders. I saw a lot of leaders um, who. Uh, Stay low. Who probably could have taken a step back and taken um, follow me. taken a. Uh, a lesson from one of their privates. I mean, dang! What? When? When do you? Uh, when do you quash your ego? You know, and that's so. We're at our 22 minutes. Um, and this goes. This goes back to kind of being able to center yourself and and knowing that you know. Even 10 years ago, there's guys with multiple deployments leading and. And having these war thoughts and having to lead and, and command troops, it was some sometimes I'm like, Oh, what's this is this guy for real? Like even in, in training exercises, we're like, man, so um kinda kinda know 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 those those in laws up in your head, the implicit memories are, are uh they're they're there and they, they can take hold and you know, again the mindful movement to be aware, um is uh is important for us veterans so thanks for joining us uh fort sill we'll uh we'll go to fort knox next episode thanks